Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany, and if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I focus on fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, fragrances, vlogs, and whatever else I feel like talking about, to be honest. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I usually upload twice a week. Lately, it's been once a week, but I like to upload on Thursdays. Thursdays and Sundays now so I don't want you to miss a video okay in today's video I have a mini luxury haul for you guys but I did check off one of my 2021 luxury wish list items so I'm super excited to share that with you all today but also these are just the items that I picked up in Miami you guys were asking me what did I buy what did I buy honestly I didn't do a lot of shopping at all but like I said I was able to check off something from my luxury wish list so it's just enough all right if you guys are interested, stick around. So while we were in Miami, we did go to a few different places to shop, but Ball Harbor shops will always be my favorite when it comes to shopping in Miami. So let's start off with this item. As you can see, this is a Balenciaga bag. So um, I popped into Balenciaga just to look around. I really was not trying to buy anything. I didn't have anything in mind. And let me just tell you, the sales associate there was so sweet. That's my new girl, okay? She was so sweet. Just very like welcoming and just nice you know I really enjoyed her we started chatting and we were talking about like the different pieces that I have from Balenciaga you guys know Balenciaga is one of my favorite brands so I have a lot of Balenciaga pieces and we started talking about the tops and you know I love the blouses that have the button down um, with the Balenciaga logo on the back and she was like OMG I have some things on sale let me bring them out from the back so she brought me out a few different shirts um, and I picked up one one of the shirts she brought out it was really cute it was a short sleeve just button down collared shirt and it had hot pink Balenciaga all over it I'm kind of regretting not getting that but this particular shirt that I got was one that I really wanted to add to my collection and it's, it's so good okay so it was on sale too oh I can't <laughs> so she has it wrapped up I haven't opened up these things since I've been home and she also gave me the hanger too which was super sweet so here is my receipt and we'll get into the price and everything after so let me go ahead and open this up and just show you guys what I picked up super simple but definitely a staple okay it's a staple girl it's so good oh, look at it y'all look at the top so this is just a black and white stripe collared shirt, but you already know the Piazza Resistance, hun, is on the back. This is such a classic piece. So I already have the swing top um, in the women's and it has the two long strings in the front. Love that top. I wear it all the time. It's blue. And so when she pulled this one out from the back, I'm like, black and white, that's my jam. And it was in my size. Let's see what size this is. These do run oversized, but I'm not sure if this is men's or women's actually. So she just brought me out a lot of options. This is a 41. So yeah, she just brought me out a lot of options and this one was literally a no brainer. I was like, put this one to the side. Let's look at the other things. Okay. So she had a couple bags and stuff like that, but this was, this was the one. So love, love. So love. I am obsessed with this top. I'm obsessed with this shirt. I've been wanting a black and white one or just like an all black or something that was a little bit more neutral than the blue one that I have. So I'm obsessed. And this is just like a classic. Okay. This is an absolute classic. And I like the fact that I can wear this like tucked into some trousers. I can wear this open. I can wear it even like right off the top since it's summertime, I'd probably wear it open like oversized with a black crop top, black wide leg pants or something like that. So it's just, it's such a good, such a good piece. Okay, such a good piece. Now let's get into the pricing for this. Okay y'all, so I have my receipt here and as I suspected, this is a men's shirt. So this is the men's ready to wear um, size 41. And the original price of this was $11.50 and I got this on sale for $589, which is a really good deal because even the lowest I've seen these like 
brand new are like 980, right? So when I got this and it's brand new on sale, I'm just like super excited about it. And it's black and white, very versatile. And it just has the Balenciaga going across the shoulder in the back in black, which is so good. And it has a pocket there on the left-hand side. So absolutely love this top. I can't wait to wear it. Yeah, I love it. So good. Okay, y'all, so now let's get into my luxury wish list item. And I actually have a little bit of footage of me unboxing this. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so y'all have already seen the unboxing. So this is my new Chanel Coco Handle in the black calfskin with this gorgeous crystal, black crystal handle. Do y'all see that? It also has the brushed gold hardware and it's just, it's a gorgeous bag, okay? So this was on my 2021 wish list. This and also the Chanel Trendy CC. I had been wanting the Chanel Trendy CC for a while, but that bag is lambskin, okay? Um, so they didn't have the Trendy CC in store, but she pulled this out and she also pulled out the um, classic flap, of course, which I won't be doing. And then she pulled out the Chanel 19 as well in black, the small. And I love the Chanel 19. I'm literally obsessed with the Chanel 19. I wear mine all the time now, especially that I have that pink one. I love it. Um, but it's a casual bag and it's so easy to wear. But I thought, you know what? pull it back. This was on your wish list. One thing about me when I go into Chanel, it's just like, I love that. I just love Chanel bags, right? So sometimes I forget what I already had on my list. So I had to be an adult and kind of pull it back. So um, when she brought this out and it had this handle, I'm always looking for something that's special, right? So this cocoa handle is super special because it has this super sparkly handle and yes it is a black bag but this is calf skin so i love it and i also chose this bag because it is so much lighter in weight than the trendy cc the trendy cc is a gorgeous luxurious looking bag but the bag weighs two pounds before you even put anything in it okay it's just a super heavy bag so when i thought about something that would be super versatile and um something that I could like dress it up, dress it down. I really love this bag. And I am one to wear a dressy handbag. Like I would throw this on with jeans. Okay. Um, but I know a lot of people like to dress up the cocoa handle. For me, I love a dressier handbag with like a super laid back outfit, like a white tee and jeans. That's just like, I love that, you know? So when I saw this and it had this little special detailing, I was like, I have to get this. I have to get this bag. And for the Coco handle, I thought that I may have wanted like a colored bag and then I would get the Trendy CC in black. But feeling how heavy that Trendy CC was before I put anything in it, I was like, that's just going to be annoying. Okay, it's just going to be annoying to carry around. The bag is still absolutely gorgeous. But I tried on this bag and I put all of my things in it and my phone fits and everything with no problem. And it wasn't heavy at all, super comfortable. Um, of course, you know, I live for a top handle so I can carry it like this. I can put it in the crook of my arm if I want to. And it also comes with the strap. Now, a lot of people don't care for the strap on this mini size, old mini, new small, because you can see that the strap is short. I think this is like a 14 inch drop. 
if I'm not mistaken. So quite short. So you have to be very petite in order to wear this crossbody, um, but it's definitely perfect for like wearing it on your shoulder, okay? Um, there are extenders and things that you can purchase if you want to wear this crossbody, but that's one of the cons of this size. Now the super, uh, the new extra mini or super mini or whatever, I think the strap is a little longer on that one but this does have a short strap. So let's just get into the detailing really quick. You have your classic quilts. You do have that brushed gold hardware and look at that handle. I mean, y'all, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So let's open her up. And you can see it's leather here on the flap. And when you open it, it just has two compartments. Now this is a new bag, so it does not come with the authenticity card. You know they're doing like this new scan thing or whatever. So this one doesn't come with the authenticity card. And I just love the fact that it's calf skin, so it's just a little bit more durable, but it looks like lambskin. You see that? It looks like lambskin. It still gives me that luxurious feel um, without it being lambskin like usually these come in caviar so this is really a special bag okay so I'll open it up again you have two compartments one in the front one in the back and then you have a zipper compartment and like I said my phone fits perfectly in this this is a mini bag but it's not one of those mini bags that's only for show only for pictures this is a wearable mini bag okay so absolutely adore this bag and the best part is that it has feet on the bottom can you see that it has the little feet on the bottom and the trendy cc did not okay so i love this bag now i do feel like the coco handle looks super cute in like really adorable colors like bright colors the pastels and things like that but again i wanted to stick to the wish list and what better way to get a handbag that was on my wish list but it's like amped all the way up like i said this usually comes in caviar i got it in the smooth calf skin um it usually you know doesn't really have too much going on with the handle i still get the nice classic black with the brush gold hardware and this is the like i said brush gold it's not that champagne gold so it's very gold and I still get like a little bit of interest here in the handle. So I'm really excited about this bag. And of course, you can't forget that little Mona Lisa pocket in the back. Like I said, the only con to me is the fact that the strap is short. But I love the fact that the strap is detachable. So you really have a Chanel chain that you can wear on some of your other Chanel handbags, which is epic okay because you know a lot of the time chanel does not do detachable straps so this is epic like i said i absolutely love this bag y'all and it's just something a little bit different and coco handles are really hard to find it's so crazy like these bags are so hard to find they retail less than the trendy cc but when you resell these you can get so much money for these bags because they're so hard to find so um if you are looking to purchase and resell i would go with the coco handle simply because of the resale value usually when i purchase things i don't think about resale value because i just buy the things that like i love you know what i mean and they just make me happy so i'm super happy that i was able to pick up this bag Bag, and like I said in this size because my cell phone fits in here no problem let me actually show you and the new super mini that they have cell phones do not fit okay so as you can see my phone it drops right in there no problem and um, it does have the leather on the inside here and the cool thing about this bag I feel like a woman who is in her early 20s could wear this bag and also a woman who's like 85 could still carry this bag and be fierce you know so i'm really happy with this purchase you guys i think the retail on this is 5100 um just for a reference if you guys are interested i will link it down below on the chanel website you know you cannot purchase um directly from chanel you need to call an essay um but i will link it from the Chanel website so you guys can see it, you know, and get the reference code. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this bag. Do you think I made a good decision between this one or the Trendy CC? Um, 
I love this bag and like I said, I love it in the different colors as well. So maybe later on in the future, I may end up getting um, this bag in a super pretty bright color. But for now, I'm really happy with the one that I have because it's special, it's something different and not everybody's gonna have it, you know, not everybody. Of course, some of the girls gonna have it, but not everybody, you know? So I just like getting things that just have a little bit of a twist to a classic, you know? So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, I will do my best to find this bag and also the top if you guys are interested. These are the only two items that I picked up in Miami, which is enough, okay? She spent enough, but I went to Miami not planning on shopping. I said, if I see something and I fall in love, I'll get it. But if not, it's not, you know, I don't need to shop. Well, look at, look at what happened. Look at what happened. <laughs> so yeah, I love this bag so much, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you on my next one. Bye.